Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. In case you're wondering why there's no video, that's because Windows 10 decided to do an update, and now every time I try to use my webcam, uh, my screen recording software crashes. So, tonight's video is just going to be capture of the screen. I know everybody likes it when I look at them. It's like I'm telling a, telling a story. Uh, but tonight what we're going to do is we are going to install Active Directory onto our Windows Server 2016 Essentials box that's out there on our our VMware ESXi machine. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in. And I have tinkered with this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of unexpectedly powered it off. I have tinkered with it a little bit. Usually with Windows Server Essentials, there would be a wizard that would load here and walk us through Active Directory. Uh, but I've tinkered a little bit, so that's not going to pop up. But that's okay, because that's not the first thing we want to do. Right now, we've got a bare server install. And I always want to set a static IP address on my my DC. So we're going to pull this guy up. I'm also going to uncheck TCP IP version 6 because I'm not going to use that. And we're going to come in here and I think if we look at this, I believe that 66.7 is not used. So we'll go ahead and use 66.7 seven and that is a class C and for now we'll do uh, 192 166.10 And so now we've got a static IP on this guy. So now we can go ahead and configure Active Directory. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into Server Manager. And once Server Manager loads, since this is Windows Server Essentials, we're going to click on this. And then over here it says Configuration Required for Windows Server Essentials Experience on the server. So we can bring this up and we can click configure configure Windows Server Essentials. So this is the Microsoft wizard that is going to configure Active Directory for us. So don't pay any attention to uh, this. This is when I was tinkering around before. So th just pretend that we are walking through this from scratch. So we'll go next. Company name is H5. So our internal domain name. We're also going to want to set a full DNS name. We'll call this H5 Tech LLC. Now this is asking what we want the full DNS name, the FQDN, internally. So we'll go ahead and roll with h5techllc.local. Now we can't use the administrator account that we're logged in to twice, so now it's asking us to create a new admin. So we'll go ahead and create our admin. And hit configure. And now this wizard is going to go ahead and configure Active Directory. It's probably going to reboot the machine a couple times and it can take up to a half hour. So I'm going to go ahead and at this point I'm going to pause the video. This thing's going to reboot three to four times and then we're going to be back up and running. Actually I'm going to go ahead and let this roll and then we'll just speed it up. And I think I am going to pause so I can do a couple other things but it will reboot two to three times. It will take probably 20 minutes and then we will be back. Okay, so our machine has rebooted. We're going to log in as the admin user that we created. 
and we're logging in for the first time so it's going to take a few minutes got to prepare our profile so we'll just kind of be patient you know how that goes there's nothing here i can click though to show you how impatient i'm being i guess i could move the window around erratically You'll notice some of these other VMs we've got. We've got Xpanology, which if you don't know what that is, that's exciting coming up. We've got Indian, FreePBX, Proxmox, and more VMs. So stay tuned. Besides all the good Ubiquity stuff, there's more VMs in here that has a lot to do with Ubiquity. All right, so it looks like our desktop's coming up here. We've still got static IP, so that should all be good. So we're going to come over here, we're going to go to Server Manager. We'll bring that guy up, but then uh, we'll look at some of the new stuff that's installed here. Or that Windows will tell us is new sometimes. So we've got our Active Directory Administration Center, our Administrative Center, we've got Domains and Trust, Sites and Services, Users and Computers, and we are going to touch on some of this stuff. We've also got DNS happening here, so that's awesome. We'll pull up our Active Directory. Oh, look, configuration is finished. We're not going to register with uh, Azure Cloud Services. So now you can see under our dashboard, we have all the things loaded over here. So if we go to Tools, this is the same as Administrative Tools. And to show you that Active Directory is loaded, now we're in the Users and Computers, and you're going to do a lot of work in here when you're administering Active Directory. We've got our domain that we configured here. If we expand this, we go to the user folder. We will sort this by types. Security group will be on the top by default. We've got the administrator account, and we've got the WHOW account, which are both administrators. And so sometimes what I like to do is I only use this administrator account when I need to. So we'll actually disable it because we're not going to use it. But what, what I usually do in the real world is I'll have two users. So I'll have a WHOW user that is non-admin or admin, and then I'll have a Willy user, which will either be admin or non-admin. It's kind of a chicken, egg, who came first situation. So we could add a new user here. This would be our, our non-admin user. So this is we're just getting started um, for these accounts. You know, we can come in here. That's funny. I put <laughs> I put my name in initials, which is why you see the uh, the period there. Uh, we can start filling out addresses, all that good stuff. So. Yeah, you can fill all that out, you know, all the way down to the organization, the telephone. So a lot of people don't use Active Directory to its fullest, but you can do a lot of powerful things with Active Directory. It's a centralized database where all of your users exist. So we're going to dig into it. We're going to dig into some group policies and, and things like that. And then we're also going to dig into backup. So that's it for tonight. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you're interested in getting your own copy of Windows Server 2016 Essentials, I have put that down in the, I put my affiliate link down in the description. It doesn't change your price. It just kicks a few bucks in, keeps the channel rolling. Once again, we appreciate you and we'll see you in the next video.